Once Helena was returning home from work, and she noticed that the girl who was walking in front stumbled and fell. She dropped the box which she was carrying in her hands along with the sweaters. Books, notebooks, and framed photographs were strewn across the sidewalk. Helena immediately helped the girl to pack her things, and since they were heading in the same direction, she offered help and carry some of the items. The girl agreed. Helena deftly picked up the box of books. She was unaware of how much her simple act would affect the fate of a girl, a casual acquaintance. What is your name? Helena asked. Sarah, the girl answered, and Helena thought she sounded sad. While they were walking together, Helena learned that Sarah was very fond of cooking and playing Scrabble. She worked as an accountant. Today, said Sarah, is not the best day of my life, to be honest. I broke up with my friend. So they came to Sarah's house, and suddenly she invited Helena to come over, drink tea, listen to music, and maybe play Scrabble. Helena had no plans that day and therefore agreed. So the evening passed pleasantly behind a casual, cheerful conversation. Then Helena went home. They lived in the same area, not far from each other, and therefore saw each other from time to time. They even had dinner together a few times. One day, Sarah gave Helena a wedding invitation. I want you to become bridesmaid. It is very important to me. Sarah's offer surprised Helena a little. They could have had a wonderful time talking over coffee, but Helena didn't think Sarah valued her friendship so much. She agreed. It's not that hard to spend time with a friend. On the day, while trying on dresses, Sarah stood at the mirror and admired her reflection. The cream color she chose suited her very well. Helena tried on a dress made of silver silk. Two women stood side by side. Two women did not even know about the secret that bonded them. They were alone in the fitting room and Sarah suddenly said, do you remember the day we met? Helena nodded. Have you ever wondered why I needed to carry so many things that day? She began. The fact is that on that day the boss yelled at me for the cause. But I was so upset that I decided to leave without warning. Quit work and go to my parents to the farm. But after we spent time together, I realized that if I had left, I would have lost these wonderful minutes and everything that would follow further in my life. I returned to work, sorted out the documents, then I realized with horror that there were shortcomings for which I could be brought to court. So, Helena, the day you picked up my books, you did more than just help. You saved not only my career, but my life. Everyone can be great, because everyone can serve people. To serve people, all you need is a heart full of mercy. It takes a soul created by love. Martin Luther King <laughs>